Okay, so now that we know how to set up mixture problems, let's go back and solve them. And uh, good news for you guys, since the numbers are really big and there's so many things going on, I've been begging you guys not to use your calculators, but well, let's turn to technology because these numbers are pretty large. So you'll even see me busting out my calculator and using that. So good news for us there. Um, so how do we solve this? Well, the way that we solve a system is we either graph it, we substitute it, or eliminate it. I doubt we want to graph this thing, right? Because uh, again, right here, this number is 10, 000, you know, 1,085. The intercepts are going to be pretty large. So it's going to be kind of hard to see. So substitution and elimination comes to mind. And uh, how about we, for this one, uh, we, let's go ahead and use elimination. And so if I want to eliminate, um, again, let's say we want to eliminate x, then I need the coefficients out front to be uh, opposites. And so this is 20, so this one needs to be negative 20. So I'll do that by multiplying both sides by negative 20. So that gives us the new system, negative 20x minus 20y equals, and I believe that will be, let's see, 1,000, right? Because 5 times 2 is 10, a couple more zeros, so that, right? And then the other equation is 20x plus 25y equals 10,85. And so the x's cancel out like I wanted to by design. Negative 20 plus uh, 25y is 5y. And then negative 1,000 plus 1085 uh, gives us 85. So divide both sides by 5. I don't think I need my calculator for that one. So I'm going to 1, let's see, 5, 30, 17. So it looks like y is 17. So there were 17 vials of humulin given. So what about x, right? How much nobelin? Well, we can go back and try to find, uh, eliminate y. But how about I just go kind of use our substitution technique, a little mixture of both. I know what y is now, so I can actually solve for x by making that substitution. That might be a little faster, especially with the numbers being so big. So subtract 17 from both sides, and I think we get 33 out of that. So to solve this one, right, uh, again, I started with a elimination routine. And then I actually finished with a substitution routine by substituting the value in. And so for this particular problem, 33 vials of Novalin were, were sold and 17 vials of Cumulin were sold for that word problem. All right, so again, kind of practicing some skills. So what about a couple of other ones? Well, we have in the next one, all right, we have the fundraiser for the cheer squad. Uh, perhaps again, how about we do an elimination technique uh, why don't I eliminate y this time? And so eliminating y, um, again, I need these to be opposites. So this is an 8, and that's a 1. So I think we need to multiply both sides here by negative 8. So my new system will be negative 8x minus 8y. And I will, how about we do so 64, right, times uh, 8. And I guess that would be a negative, right, 5, 1, 2. Make sure I calculate this, 64 times 8. Yep, all right, and so the next equation is 12x plus 8y equals 688. So by design, the y's cancel out, and we're left with negative 8x and 12x is 4x. And again, how about I bust my calculator out? If I take 688 and subtract 512, we get 176. Okay. Divide both sides by 4, and we find that 176 divided by 4 is 44. So how many blue shirts did they sell? They sold 44 blue shirts all together. Okay, so 44 blue shirts is what they sold. How many red shirts they did? Well, again, if you want, you can go back and do the elimination of x. But how about I do that same trick? We have a nice equation here. And I already know that x is 44. So I can actually solve for y that way. A little bit of a substitution routine going there. Subtracting 44 from both sides, we get y equals 20. So this little cheer squad sold 44 blue shirts, and they sold 20 red shirts. So again, seeing a little bit of that elimination, a little bit of substitution to get the job done. So hopefully you're getting the idea. Uh, next one. Um, we have some pretty big numbers here. 
Uh, but I think elimination still might be nice. How about we eliminate the x because 200 is kind of a smaller number than 580. So to eliminate x, I'll multiply both sides by negative 200. So we get negative 200x minus 200y equals, I think 2 times 13 is 26. Add on a couple zeros, and that would be negative. All righty. And so we're going to add that to 200x plus 580y, and that equals to, well, that's still 5,260. So by design again, the x's cancel out. Minus 200 plus 580 is 380y. And let me go ahead and 5260 take away 2600 right, equals 2660. Okay, so good news there. We'll divide both sides by 380. And we find that y, so 2660 divided by 380 equals 7. So basically, for this situation, seven of our items were burritos. Alrighty, so good to go. So how many tacos did we have? Well, again, we can go back through and solve for y, but how about we just use the equation x plus y is 13. We know that y is 7, so it's a lot easier to find x this way, and we find that it's 6. So we ate 13 items consume 5,260 calories. So it looks like we had six tacos and we had seven burritos. So there's the first round of solutions. I'm kind of using a mixture of the elimination technique uh, combined with the substitution technique to get the job done. So we'll uh, finish those other ones in another video because this one is getting a little lengthy.